Welcome to Jeff Throws Garage. I hope y'all are having a wonderful uh, weekend. Uh, it's a Saturday now. I'm going to try to put this out tonight. I'm trying to hurry up because there's a big race going on just right up the road. and I've got so much to do, but I really want to hit that race up. Uh, I won't be able to take the car yet because, well, I haven't got it done yet. Maybe next week I'll be able to work on it some. I've got a, still got a lot to do, but wrapping college up uh, or wrapping this semester up and my associate's degree tomorrow. Like, that's the last day. Uh, I could do nothing else, and i got to be in both classes, but I need to go ahead and finish everything up and hope for that A. I should get an A in one of them, no problem. The other one, eh. Got a lot of work left to do. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's see. You, you're not here to hear about all that, are you? Uh, you're here to hear about these engineer pliers. These are screw removal pliers. I have been seeing these for years, and I always wanted to get a pair, but just never, you know, pulled the trigger on them. Um, these are the PZ58. Screw, screw removal pliers. Man, that's a tongue twister and a half. Um, Y'all come on up here. Let's check out the stats on it. Then we'll open these up and uh, see how they, uh, see what kind of first impression they give us. Y'all come on up here. Okay, we've got the engineer. PZ58 screw, screw removal pliers. <laughs> $17.89, made in Japan. Um, the competitors for these are the van pliers. Um, they're at $31.97 for the same size. I will eventually buy a pair of those, but I don't have them just yet. Uh, let's bring you over here and let's open these engineers up. So when I get you to this point, it's always a bit of a uh, decision on how far I want to bring y'all in and and uh, blow up the image or expand the image or I forget, magnify, magnify is the right word because I want you to see everything and sometimes I don't get it all. But anyway, let's open these uh, engineer pliers up. Pretty easy. Um, Let's go over the specs on the packaging real fast. So let's see. Uh, let's, they had some other, uh, let's go on the other side. So some of the things I was looking at is they give me the hardness on this. It's HRC 58 plus or minus two. Um, cutting capacity 3.2 millimeter copper wire made out of carbon steel, a weight of 130 grams. Um, they don't want, they say it's not insulated, don't use it on live wires, so which would be a very smart thing to follow. Um, shows you a little bit here. I'm not gonna read that out to you. Well, bottom line, they are, they are neat, and well-designed set of pliers. I've, like I said, I've been wanting a pair for a while. So far, I like the handle. They're a, hmm, how do I explain? They're like a harder gel handle. Um, they feel pretty decent in the hand. Naji, what's that say? Naji Saurus. Screw pliers. Hmm. Don't know what that means. I'll have to look that up later. See, it's engineer PZ58, made Japan 231. Not sure what the uh, 231 means. And that looks like a SN, or should yes, yeah, NS, Naji Source, I guess. These are. These look very good very well machined uh, I can't this is probably some of the nicest machined pliers that I've seen in a little bit 
Let me make sure I'm telling the truth here. But anyway, see how well this is, how smooth this is ground. This right here, this was probably done by a surface grinder. So laid flat on a, on a, on a steel table that was probably magnetized and a grinder went back and forth over it. Um, I don't know. I like it. See, look at the ends here. Looks like they might have put these in a fixture to grind them so even. So you fixture it in something, clamp it down, clamp it down, bring the grinder up to it, and it grinds it to that, you know, profile. I'm not sure, but these these are very very well made. Um, they're spring loaded. They don't close up all the way. They're not meant to. But I guess if your screw is smaller than that, chances are you're not going to be able to get to it. Let me bring a screw up here and show you. So bottom line, it's meant, let me get you up here. It's meant to be able to grab a screw, something like that, and be able to pull it out. Hold them like that, pretty nice. Let me uh, let me see if we can grab a hold of these screws right here. They're semi-flush. What I did is uh, on these holes, I think they were already bigger than just the diameter of the end of the screw here. They were bigger than this. Um, so I didn't make them bigger. They've got just a little bit sticking out. We'll see if I can get it. Not that one. It's not enough sticking out for me to get it. Not enough sticking out for me to get that one either. So, So far, ain't the best, but these are somewhat countersunk. Um, let me see if I can see some that might be able to grab. I see some right now. Right there. Let's grab these. Those are, those are fairly easy to grab and fairly easy to turn. Both ways. That's as tight as that gets. Let me see if I can show you a side shot. Okay, so here's what I've did. I put this screw in uh, almost all the way, almost flush, and we'll see if I can't grab a hold of it give you a good idea. Let's move that out of the way. Piece of wood. And it turns it. Now let's put it a little bit further. I hope this is coming out. It shows you kind of how tough it is in there. Because I'm already, the screw is already stripping out the inside. And I'm able to remove it. Look, that ain't easy. Okay. I am putting some force on it, but it is not stripping. I'm hoping that turned out there and it wasn't all fuzzy. But anyway, I like them. I look forward to using them. Um, Japanese engineering, they, they, uh, they're, them in Germany, in my opinion, opinion, they're like, you know, parts of your body that everyone has them, but, uh, they're probably our biggest competitors when it comes to well-engineered stuff.
And, and some may say Germany and Japan sort of kick our butts in a lot of it. I don't know. I know we make some good stuff here in the United States. Um, we make some very good stuff here in the United States. And some of our stuff is world-renowned as being the best, like Star It. Uh, Snap-on has some great stuff, great stuff. Um, but it's a blanket, so when you say Snap-on, you're talking about a lot of different things. Um, I would say Koken and Snap-on ratchets are very close in quality, like extremely close, and it would be hard to pick one out as being the best. Um, there's other things out there, uh, probably Snap-on wrenches and right, let's see, Snap-on, right, and I don't know, they probably make some of the best wrenches in the world. Just a few things. Uh, I like, I really like uh, these pliers. They're very good. I love Japanese engineered stuff and we'll see how they do. Um, before I let you go though, I'm gonna close you out by showing you a close up of the inside of these because I kind of forgot. I would have usually done this during the video. That's okay if you wanna see this. Um, here it is. Very, very nice. I think. I think this might be metal from the screw. that we did. That might be some damage right there. <laughs> yep. See what this side is. Focus. And I guess that's a little damage too. So time will tell how these hold up and I'll let you know later on. Y'all take care. I appreciate everything you do. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, share with a friend or so two and comment. Also, I know, but tomorrow I'm giving away those Craftsman pliers. You got to go back a few days and comment on my video. Uh, what was it about? Do y'all know what it was about? If you watched it, you did. Anyways, I'll put a link to it here below in the comments, or not comments, the description. And uh, click that link, go back to that, and watch a video. Oh, and by the way, Sunday night. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be doing a live. Every Sunday, I do a live. Well, if I can. Um, during that live, I give a tool away to one person who is currently in the live when I do the drawing. Um, this week, I'm going to give away a pair of I'm going to give away a pair of these. Um, so y'all tune in. This is pretty nice. I'm probably only going to do this once. Um, usually my Sunday Night Lives, I, I limit it to something that costs $20. And this is right under that. But y'all tune in and you can get a chance to win a pair of these. Y'all take care. <laughs>